good morning everyone today i am going to discuss about the chapter 3 the remaining part which is stress block parameters in previous class we discussed about the stress strain diagram for sewing for the concrete and sewing for the steel here we discuss about the stress block parameters the here the section is sewing here the section showing the tension zone and the st or the area of the tension reinforcement provided and p the breadth of the section and the d uh, which is the effective depth of the section and the strain and stress diagram is provided here the strain value of the stress lock parameter for the tension zone that is equal to 0.87 fy by es plus 0.002 and the stress the strain value for the compression zone that is equal to 0.0035 and that is the neutral axis value or lever arm value which is 0.002 and here the stress block parameter is showing in the compression zone the stress block parameter stress value is 0.87 fy and it is a tension zone it is the compression zone the stress value here uh, is 0.446 fck here x1 x2 and x and z also showing here z is the lever arm um, is showing here from the center of the chain compression bar compression reinforcement or compression force to the bottom of the tension zone and x is the neutral axis and it is the sorry x is the neutral axis depth this is the neutral axis which is provided in the center of the bar and the whole section is depend upon the strain stress diagram then we discuss about the symbol used in the section which is x is equal to depth of the neutral axis b is the breadth of the section d is the effective depth of the section and the depth of the neutral axis can be obtained by considering the equilibrium of the normal forces that is resultant force of compression is equal to average stress into area and which is uh, of the average stress is provided 0.36 into 36 fck and fck is the characteristic strength of concrete and fy is the characteristic strength of steel uh, so 0.36 fck and here area is b into x which is uh, the breadth of the section and x is the neutral axis breadth into neutral axis is the define the area of compression zone and uh, the same is resultant force for tension we find out by adding the same the area of stress and uh, the area of reinforced was provided which is 0.87 fy into st or we can write here 80 and force of compression should be equal to force of tension then we define the value of neutral axis here the compression force is provided 0.36 fck into bx is equal to the tension forces 0.87 fy into st from this we can define the value of x which is neutral axis so x is equal to 0.87 fy into sa by 0.36 fck into b the x then defined from the equation by equating the tension force and the compression force we know it is the area of tension reinforcement then we discuss the the distance between the lines of action of the two forces c and t is called the lever arm and is denoted by z the lever arm z is equal to d minus 0.42 into 0.87 fy into 80 by 0.36 fck into b which is the value of x okay or we can write here d minus 0.42 into x so here the 0.42 into uh, whole into 0.87 fy into 80 by 0.36 fck into b can denote here d minus 0.0 fy into 80 by fck by b also we can write then we discuss about the moment of resistance with respect to concrete the compressive force the into liver one 
then we define the moment of resistance the compressive force in case of compression zone we consider the compressive force in case of tension zone we consider the tension force so here the moment of resistance with respect to concrete the formula is the compressive force into lever arm so 0.36 fck into b into z where then we find out the moment of resistance with respect to concrete and the same forces the moment of resistance with respect to steel we can find out by putting the tensile forces so here the formula is tensile force into lever arm and the formula is 0.87 fy into at into z that is the 0.87 fy into at is equal to the tensile force and z is the lever arm then we define the moment of resistance in the basis of steel then we discuss about the maximum depth of neutral axis which is provided here the maximum depth of neutral axis uh, compression failure is brittle failure the maximum depth of neutral axis is limited to ensure that tensile steel will reach its l stress before concrete fall in compression the brittle failure is avoided the limiting value of the depth of neutral axis that is equal to xm which is the minimum depth of neutral axis or maximum depth of neutral axis we can write here for different grade of steel from strain diagram we can define how can we define the value xm by d minus xm is equal to 0.0035 by 0.87 fy by es plus 0.002 and also we can write here xm by d only the value of xm we put in other direction uh, other sides which is xm by d is equal to 0.0035 by 0.87 fy by es plus 0.0055 uh we can find the maximum depth of neutral axis by the from the code book which is fy is equal to newton per mm square so fy is the maximum depth of neutral axis value depend upon the value of fy if the value of fy changes in the question then the neutral axis or maximum depth of neutral axis value also changed for the neutral axis or fy value of 250 the xm or maximum depth of neutral axis value is 0.53d and when the fy value is 415 the maximum depth of neutral axis is equal to 0.48d and when the fy value is 500 the maximum depth of neutral axis it is equal to 0.46d So first we need to clear what is F Y two fifty and F Y four and five and of F Y five hundred. The F Y two fifty is the mile steel bar and the F Y four and five and five hundred that is the H Y steel bar or high L strength deform bar. Okay. The in the next class we discuss the remaining part. Thank you.